Hello, this is Ethan for the Emergency Preparedness Merit Badge. I'm going to be going over the events for Requirement D. So the first one is, if somebody's drowning, what you can do to help them without putting yourself at risk. So we're going to say this is hypothetically a dock, and over there is the water. If someone's drowning, <coughs> you don't want to get in there because they will pull you under and you will both be at risk of drowning. Evil's natural instincts are to save themselves. First, regardless of if that's what they want to do, their instincts take over. So what you need to do is give them something to grab onto. You could reach for something around you or hypothetically, like, take off a shirt. YPT, I'm not going to do that, but here's an example. And you could hold it over to give them something to grab onto. <coughs> Got the order wrong, this one was supposed to be first. But in the event that someone has touched an electric wire, let's say this computer represents someone who's touched the wire and the um, wire is just the wire. Well, you wouldn't want to do it, I just said. You don't want to touch them because if you touch them, you could get electrocuted yourself or if you touch the wire, you could get electrocuted yourself. What you're going to want to do is stand back and call the police immediately. And if you can, if there's like a circuit breaker somewhere or some other way where you can unplug the power without touching the wire. You want to do that to keep them safe, but you cannot touch them or the wire yourself, or you become at danger. Their clothes on fire, that's going to be probably the easiest one. It's just a simple stop, drop, and then roll on the ground to put out the fire on your clothes. detect that there is carbon monoxide in an area you need to leave and you need to make uh, an exit as quick as possible. You can't just be like, well, hold on, let me finish up with something because carbon monoxide, you don't know it's hurt you until it kills you. So you need to leave immediately if your carbon monoxide detectors go off to prevent death. <laughs> 